thing that we wanted to mention on here, each month Vinegar Syndrome announces some of their releases that's coming out. Um, we'll go through them real quick here. I was looking at, um, I think Uncle Bill ordered like a couple of these already. I don't know if he knew exactly what he was getting into with one of them, mm. but we will go through them. And you can mention to me which one, if any of them you've seen before. Last Gasp, which is a 1995 supernatural possession horror mixed with slasher movie. I've never heard of this. It's got Robert Patrick in it, Don Edmonds, and Wes Craven's ex-wife. <laughs> I did hear that that one is on Tubi, so you could actually watch it for free. Mm, Tubi. And Tubi, Tubi. But yeah, you can check that one out for free if you want to. I did watch the trailer for it. Looks like something that was on Cinemax back in 1995. It probably debuted on Cinemax. Um, yep. The artwork makes it look like it's going to be like a almost like mm -hmm. a old Chief Wooden Head comes after people type movie. But um, I would. The, I'm guessing that that's not going to be good. So possibly check not. It out. Uh, I think I that was one that Uncle Bill did buy. <laughs> Well, he needs to spend all his money on nonsense anyway. So, I know one that you're more than likely okay. excited about. I heard a bunch of people bragging up this movie. It is like a grindhouse style mid seventies um, exploitation film called Death Promise, made nineteen seventy seven, directed by Robert Warm Flash. I thought I, when I first read that, I thought it was Warm mm. Flesh, which that'd be a different sort of movie. I've already seen this one. Uh, uh, Rift Tracks has done it, and I've seen it without Rift Tracks. Uh, okay, so it, this is more of a well-known type movie. Well, known to... I mean, I definitely uh, known uh, through Rift Tracks because it's kind of goofy and, and, you know, but, you know, it, it's like a... It's kind of like a revenge movie with, with kung fu and martial arts in it. In like a very urban setting, <laughs> it, it's not too bad, but it's definitely. Uh, I mean, like I say, I've I've got it. Uh, it's been released before. I don't know if it's just been released. Through, well, this uh, one is newly scanned and restored in two K from its original thirty five millimeter camera negative, yeah. Steve. So it's going to look way at, better. I'm looking at Vinegar Syndrome's website, and it's got a screenshot of this chick's boob and her. Areola is like this big. Oh. Like a grapefruit baby. The other one, though, I know a lot of people were bragging up. Somebody that I work with is really excited about this one. This is another 80s slasher movie that I've never seen. I've never even heard of it. But a lot of people were saying it's it's great. It's a new, no. um, newly discovered classic. Rush Week from 1989. Um, it was directed by a stunt man, which right. I mean, he's kind of a famous stunt man that did, you know, work with Patrick Roadhouse, Swayze. Baby. Yeah. So, um, Rush Week is a, it says it's a stylish and suspenseful mix of classic whodunit storytelling with Ooh. slice and dice, slice and and dice sensibilities. sensibilities. Yeah. Yeah. Long so overdue Blu-ray debut. Yeah, it's never been on Blu-ray before. Scanned, restored in 2K from the 35 Interpositive. I think oh, that's I the one that gets that gets Don May's dick hard. Ooh. Interpositive. Yeah. So, a uh, commentary track with the hysteria continues. Rumor has it. Now, we'll we'll talk oh. about this too. Oh. Kevin Tenney, and we're we're yeah. good friends with Kevin Tenney. Yeah, he's got a Vinegar Syndrome release. That is upcoming. One of his movies. I don't know what which one it is, but I told him. I said, if it's Pinocchio's Revenge, if we don't get invited to do the drunken commentary for Pinocchio's Revenge, I'm going to be insulted, Kevin Denny. If you get them fucking hysteria, continue guys on there, not us, who supported you for years. Those guys, they don't give. They don't give a fuck about you. Well, hell yeah. What do you think it could be, though, <laughs> Kevin Tenney? I mean, the uh, he oh, he did another. Be... Brain Dead would be cool. Yeah, I mean that was one of the newer ones, but I don't think people would really. I mean, people would buy it, but 
He did the uh, the Sailor is another one too. It's not very good, but that one's not been released on Blu-ray. Now another one that I thought of, and it could be a part of a VSA release, which those are kind of like. I think the thing with VA, VSA releases are they're like direct to video movies or stuff that was never released like theatrically, like Skinamax action movies, mm-hmm. stuff like that. What if they did? Because he directed demolition university what if they did a two-pack with demolition high and demolition (laughs) university Corey Haim movies wow that'd be rough oh i've never seen it uh yeah everything's on the board right now nothing there's not a whole lot though if you look at his filmography there's not a whole lot that hasn't come out right so we're dealing with uh those or you know uh, just a very handful of titles Brain Dead. I don't know. Did that one ever come out officially on DVD? I don't even remember. I think it came out, but not in America, not in the U.S. Okay. Um, because we watched it at one of those Fright Night shows, I think. I can't remember which one it was. But anyway, um, back to Rush Week. Yeah, Have you seen this one? Yeah, I mean, it, it comes off feeling like a very early 90s movie. It doesn't feel like an 80s. 89 is close enough. I just didn't think I didn't, it didn't really. I mean, it it just didn't really get me. I didn't like it. Uh, there's a killer going around with some mask and a big axe. Mm-hmm. I think there is some gore, but not a lot. It's like the gore is at the very end or something. I, it's been a while since I've seen it, but I really and it's filmed like it looks like it wasn't filmed with real film. It looked like it was digital, but I know that's way before digital. It just has a weird look, like a soap opera or a very canadian uh tv it's, show feel says it was 35 millimeters so yeah i don't know uh, just, yeah it's just something weird about it but it just could have been the the way it was well, filmed, the, but i didn't care for it too much like i said the the director Rob bob bob Browver. <laughs> he was yeah. a stunt man worked on roadhouse and the dark man he also did a lot of tv shows directed a lot of tv shows so that may be, maybe he used a lot of the same equipment that he used on TV shows for this movie because he did shit like the 18 Knight Rider, the Father <laughs> Dowling Mysteries. That's one of your favorites. Yeah, Tom Bosley forever. Tom Bosley's immortal. He's, is he still alive? I saw him on something not too long ago. <laughs> no, he's been gone for quite a while. Ah, bullshit. I saw him on something. He was no. on some sort of. Uh, Feed the children oh. bullshit or something. Unless it was some old footage. <laughs> Feed the children bullshit. Feed them fucking children now. Yeah. Yes, I'm sure with some old, old footage because that dude's gone, boss. <laughs> Mrs. C still alive. Yeah, he died in 84, dude. Come on. Ah, bullshit. He fucking didn't I'm looking at IMD. I, okay, well, maybe, maybe that's happy days. I'm sorry. 2010. He died in 2010. I knew better than that because, like, that was, it, it may have uh, been like 2009 footage they were using in 2013, 2014. Yeah, Hello, I'm Tom Bosley. I've done passed away, but you feed the children. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> They've already fed my flesh to the children. Now they need your help. There's another one, though, that I'm, I'm getting this one just because I love this guy's movies. Really? And it's through the Agfa label, their side label or something like that. Um, the Jungle Trap Run Cody Run double feature. Have you looked Cody at this, Rhodes. Steve? Cody Rhodes. Run Cody. Yeah. <laughs> um, I saw something about it, but I I have a Afka a few movies of theirs, but I don't I don't. Yeah, no, you've got to watch the you got to watch the trailer they've got on there. Jesus Christ, it just looks it's shot on video on Blu-ray, which I'm seeing more and more of these. Yeah, uh, did a review of the uh, the uh, El Duche tapes, which you starred in back in the day, Steve. I did. Um, I that one was young that's a that's a Blu-ray that was shot on video. It was all video cassette. So, but yeah, uh, James Bryan, director of Don't Go in the Woods alone uh it's his final collaboration with renee Harmon. it's a surreal horror dreamscape about a jungle hotel haunted by kill crazy ghosts in loincloths um 
shot in 1990. It uh, was unscored, unedited, unseen by the human eye for over two decades, Steve. But now, now it's unleashed. It's back. Now he uh, directed this one that Run Coyote Run. I've seen part of it because it's a sequel to this really bad movie called Lady Street Fighter. That that's mm -hmm. horrible. I think like a lot of his stuff was unfinished. So he's got another one that's on here called Horror Con from 1989. Yeah. Surviving like footage convention. from <laughs> from James Bryan's unfinished horror movie. The James Bryan interview that we did, though, like to me, that was crazy interesting just because he was like he was a low budget filmmaker before it could really be that low of a budget. Like he with Don't Go in the Woods, he used expired film stock that he got for I think he got it like for pennies on the dollar. Um, and that's probably why Don't Go in the Woods looks the way it does as well. I'm, I'm looking forward to, for, uh, you know, the, the two pack, the jungle trap run Cody run. That's probably one that I will. I'll wait until like some sales coming along or something. I don't, yeah. there's not any of these where I'm, I'm like, I've got to get this now. Um, I'm looking at this shit, this jungle trap. And <laughs> I mean, the imaging is like, you know, you can definitely see the VHS. Any of those you're looking to pick up at some future date, Steve, or what do you think? No, not interested. I call bullshit. You'll eventually no. get one of these, especially uh, the, the, uh, what was the other one? The grindhouse one death promise. A special thank you goes out to our supporters on Patreon. The Patreon website has a complete archive of the dead pit radio shows starting way back in 2005. In addition to all of the midweek shows archived, commentaries all that good stuff if you're interested and we appreciate all the support go to www.patreon.com backslash into the dead pit tiers start as low as one dollar per month